sexy eyes You look through me as if I wasn't right Oh no you did that, you didn't just walk on through It's time to Happy Monday y'all uh, been home for a little bit, been out running errands, doing paperwork. Boy, they have you just finally making it out into the shop. Now, one thing I did do before I came out here, and I did it earlier this morning, as some of you will know, is I got this week's vlog up. Well, we're back out here, and I'm working on the, beside to call it the well from hell prop. Uh, one thing I didn't show you on Thursday is I'm getting, I was getting my, uh, LEDs attached in here and I was in the process of getting them wired up when I got called away and never made it back to the prop so first thing that first thing I need to do right now is get the finish getting those LEDs wired up and into position uh, work I need to do on this still uh, I was going to do the LEDs and then I was going to do some mossing out here on the surface and down on some of the crevices and stuff and originally that was going to be it for the prop. That's all I was going to do. And then I decided, I went down to Costco, as you saw in the last vlog, and I picked up three skeletons. There's two of them there. I went you know, down to Costco again. On Saturday, I picked up three more. So I picked up six skeletons so far. And that's going to give me more than what I need for the haunt this year. So I've got a couple of extra... I can use for making props. So I'm going to I'm going to take part of the skeleton, probably the upper half of it, and I am going to corpse it and we are going to have a skeleton popping out of here. And if I can get my mechanics right, I might motorize the skeleton too. So it will kind of layer up and out of the pipe a little bit as people walk by. I don't know. I'm still working on that part of it. But we're definitely going to add a uh, skeleton, you know, popping up out of this. So, and then we'll have, you know, some of the LEDs shining on the inside of the well, shining up at the uh, skeleton, and what have you. So this prop, instead of being finished probably by tomorrow, it's probably going to be another week. I'll be working on it most of the week. But it'll be worth it when it's done. But anyway... We're going to get started out here. i got to get those LEDs done so they're out of the way. Uh, made a little bit of progress out here. I uh, got the LEDs, all four of them, mounted. They're not really aimed where I want them as of yet. And I got the outside of this mossed. Uh, glue still in the process of drying. What I did is I used Gorilla Glue. I painted it on where I wanted the moss. I put the moss on it, pressed it in. Now I've got to let it dry. Tomorrow, to help seal the moss so it will stay on better, I'll come back through here with one of my uh, spray guns and I'll use some polyurethane, uh, a clear coat. And I'll come back over and I will just drench this thing down with it. So the uh, whatever's loose on the, uh, on the moss will just be saturated with it. Let that dry. And I've used the technique on some of my tombstones I did a couple of years ago. Year before last, actually. Uh, I did mossing on that. Did the same technique on that. Moss is still on it. Hasn't come loose. Uh, don't have the problem with a lot of the crumbling. You still get a little bit of crumbling. I'm expecting that. You know, so. But it, it'll, it'll hold up a lot better. So, uh, I'm about as far as I'm going to go today on this. I can't really do anything else to this until the glue's dry. If I try moving it around to uh, make room on the table so I can start working on something else, I'm going to end up knocking stuff off. So I'm just going to let it sit and call it quits for the day. So, we'll give you another update tomorrow when I get a little bit further in the prog uh, in the, uh, on the project. Welcome to Tuesday. It's going on about 10.30. I've been out here for about a half hour now. Uh, been working on the prop and I got one of my uh, temporary power supplies out. I thought I'd give you a look at that. I'm not sure if it's showing up very well. But I got four at this point red LEDs inside. People are not going to see this close. You know, at the most they'll see the glow here on the side walls. And then plus we'll have the fog coming out of it. So we got I got that done yesterday. I'm going to turn on the overhead here. And I also showed you the mossing I did in, you know, yesterday in, in the last segment. 
I went through this morning, took my air compressor, blew the thing off, and it effectively removed some uh, some of the loose moss on here, cleaned up all the scraps, what have you. And I just got done taking my airbrush, or not my airbrush, but my air sprayer there, filled it up with about a quart of polyurethane, clear coat, acrylic too. You gotta make sure it's water based. And I went over and I put about half a quart roughly of clear coat over the whole thing covering them. I soaked the moss down first and then I went back over and I did re gave it a second coat with the uh, with the clear coat uh, doing the brick and the moss. And what that will do is once the clear coat dries on here this moss in fact it already is starting to dry and it will get rock hard it will stay stay in place it won't be floppy and stuff it also helps to uh, adhere it a little bit more to the foam so now th at this point point in time if I stuck to my original plan the prop would be finished all the way I'd be done with it getting ready to move on to the stocks uh, I mentioned again yesterday's vlog I decided to change the prop a little bit I got to thinking it would be neat to have a corpsed skeleton coming out of the middle of the well and I could point the red LED lights a couple of them up at the skeleton and in order to do that I'm gonna have to get my heat gun out and I'm gonna heat up this pipe and kind of bend it off this way bend up that pipe push it off over that way and stuff. so it looks like there's a gap that had been forced in between the pipes now I'm gonna have to take one of my skeletons here and take the pelvis area off I just want the top half of the skeleton and I'm gonna end up coursing that uh, top half and I'm gonna attach its hands to this bar and have the rest of it sticking out of the gap back here now that's what I had decided to do Friday. You know, was adding the skeleton. I got to thinking it would be neat to have that skeleton animated. So I was thinking about and thinking about it. I'm going to try using a reindeer motor. I have some on order. They haven't come in yet. So I can get the rest of the prop done just to add the reindeer motor later. But what I'm going to, what I ended up, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to make a frame out of some copper pipe, and then I'm going to use this for the uh, shoulders and the spine. And then I got some flat bar, small flat bar here, and I'm going to run that down from the shoulder down to his hands on the skeleton. And the skeleton will be attached to that and then I'll mount that in here where it needs to go and then have the motor down here on this lip to drive the bottom part of it. And what that will do will give that skeleton kind of a raising motion is what I want. Like he's you know coming out of the pipe. You know, so at least that's what I'm going for. Okay, I had not planned on giving you guys a segment showing you what I was going to do or give you a sneak peek and I figured the hell with it. You guys are usually sitting through my long ass vlogs and I hardly hear any bitching about it. Sorry kitties, I'm cussing a little bit. But uh, so I think you guys do deserve a little sneak peek. And here we go. We got Skelly in the well. And we'll back it off. And that actually really, I think, sets that prop off. Now, what I've already done, if you notice, is this middle bar, instead of being straight, I've bent it out this way. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to attach a reindeer motor in the bottom. i got to get a, a metal support column going from the motor up to about here. I'm going to tee it off to the arms and run some flat bar down here to attach the uh, hands permanently to this bar. And then I'm going to corpse the skeleton, so the whole thing will be corpsed. And she's going to sit there and do this motion with the reindeer motor, like he's leaning out. 
that's going to be my movement. That's what I'm going for. And while we're at it, I wanted to address the Iron Maiden prop I did. Uh, when I did my rusting on it, I told you guys, as it sits, it will rust more. Well, it's been well over a week now. I haven't applied any vinegar or anything to it since I had finished the prop. But as you, I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but it's getting a nice, you can see a little bit there where it's hitting the light, rusty patina on it. Uh, even the, where the vinegar ran down, you know, it's getting some really good rusting on it all the way through. You know, so the, uh, you know, as I explained when I did this prop, I didn't put it on real thick as it was. You know, I just kind of gave it like, kind of a dusting coat of it. And I'm really pleased at the way this thing turned out. It looked turned out looking good. God, that's ugly. <laughs> so just a little bit on the uh, rusting job on there for this one. Welcome to the end of the day on Tuesday. I wanted to fill you in what I got done. Got the skelly in. Uh, I went and got the mechanism for the most part done. I did not do the motor mount for the motor as of yet. But what I ended up doing was just doing a simple crossbar with some copper pipe. And then I ran a black bar down to an L bracket down there to attach it to the, uh, to the uh, front pipe. And then I zip tied the arms to it so the skeleton will stay mounted. And on the pipe here, I left this longer than it needs to be. The simple fact is I'm not sure uh, how I'm going to uh, attach the motor, where I'm going to attach the motor to on there. So I left it shorter than it needed to be, or longer than it needed to be, and I can trim that off when I get to that point. Uh, I'm going to have to get in here and probably move that light and move that light and run a board across so I can get my uh, across and then remount those strobe lights so I can get those uh, get the motor mount set up. Uh, as to the uh, copper pipe, I put two screws in to hold it temporarily and then put a couple of C clamps or uh, oh, radiator clamp, hose clamps on there to hold the, uh, the piping to it. Uh, this whole assembly except for right here and right here you won't see because it's going to be coarse and the sections that are going to be out in view are going to get painted black so they'll blend in so I'm not overly worried about it but the uh, skeleton should sit in there about like that and I'll be uh, sitting a little lower get this guy turned around here Sorry, I'm trying to stretch my arm out and get a good angle here so I can see what I'm going to do. But when the motor kicks in, she's going to come up and do that sort of thing. Just kind of out about like that. And then back down. Up and down. So, you know, that's what I'm going for. Uh, the hinging on it, uh, like I said, I put a L bracket underneath each hand here. And you really can't see it with the hand there. There's an L bracket there so it's hinged there and then on the uh, caps on the copper pipe I put a screw through and it's attached there. So nothing too complex, fairly easy. <sighs> It'll be interesting to see how things go. Now my next step on this which is my project for tomorrow is I've got to take the whole skeleton loose. I've got to get back in here, repaint these black pipes because I've scratched them up when I was bending this one out. You know, it rotated a little bit. Uh, so i got to get those painted black. Uh, the skeleton itself needs to be corpsed. And then uh, if I'm going to put lights in, i got to do the wiring for the lights on the eyes and what have you. Uh, I'll probably end up getting it corpsed and painted tomorrow and then we'll reinstall it on Thursday. And then I'll call, probably call, end up calling the project done at that point, at least until such time as the motor comes in, which is supposed to be in next week. And then I'll drag it back out, install the motor in it, and give you a look at it running, you know, with lighting and stuff. Uh, probably the same time I give you a look at this all lit up, 
I'm probably also going to give you a look at the Iron Maiden with her eyes on at night and stuff. Probably come out here at night and uh, illuminate it up pretty good. So, get yeah, kind of a pre look that way. Hey, people, welcome to Wednesday evening. Uh, got a couple of things done over here on the well. I went through and put down an even heavier coat of the urethane, uh, polyurethane clear coat over the uh, moss to help stiffen it up. I went through and touched up the bars. You know, and this thing is still drying. But uh, effectively, uh, only other thing I have left to do in here is I need to uh, mount a crossbar across here with a block on it for the uh, motor to run the uh, skeleton. Uh, I'm not going to worry about doing that until such time as that motor is here. That way I can make sure everything lines up right. So, barring that, this is done. Now, I want to introduce you to Johnny. And we'll back it up just a bit. And there's my skeleton. I've been working on him most of the day, getting him corpse. Uh, I used four colors of paint on him. I used a watered down brown, sprayed it on, kind of blot, went through and blotted uh, in spots, took it off, added a flesh tone, did the same thing, and then I soaked it with the red. And then after it got tacky and dried for a while, I came back and dry brushed some black onto it, you know, to make him, make him look more burnt. Now Johnny here, his apparatus and everything's hooked up. Uh, only thing I have left to do are the eyes, and I'll do that tomorrow after, you know, I need to let them dry overnight. But I'm going to put two LEDs in his eyes and time into the lights down there. So, and then I also, the uh, copper piping on the base back, I need to get it cut to length. Again, that's one of the things I cannot do until the motor gets in and I get the, you know, set up in there done. Okay guys, welcome to Thursday, and the well from hell, for the most part, is totally finished. I'm still waiting on my motors to get in, so I can't motorize a prop yet. That's basically about the only thing I need to do, and I'll do that, you know, when, once the motors get in, I'll give you guys another shot of it with the mechanism going and stuff. But right now, the well from hell is, in its static version, is finished. So here we go with Johnny in it. In fact, we'll turn the lights off. There we go. Now another thing I'm going to do with this as well is I'm going to do uh, a nighttime view of it uh, with the LEDs on and I found one of my foggers so I might get the fogger hooked up and give a nighttime view I'm going to wait on doing that though until such time as I get the motor in so I'll give you a little bit of a glimpse of that you know in a week or two once the motor comes in I get a chance to get it put in but all in all Another finished prop, the well from hell, is totally finished. Okay, got Johnny and his well moved outside and it's over with the Iron Maiden. The way I'm going, I'm going to have the patio kind of filled up here by Halloween with just new stuff I've built. Uh, next project, which will be starting probably Monday or Tuesday of next week, is going to be a set of stocks. Uh, for those of you who aren't sure what a set of stocks looks like, here's a quick picture of one. Okay, so now you know that's what a set of stocks looks like. That's what I'm going to be building. Uh, the uh, stocks I'm going to be making is going to be another animated prop. It's going to have Okay, I jumped. I think the wife jumped too. <laughs> okay, the uh, set of stocks is going to be a animated prop. Uh, I'm going to have the head on it, swiveling back and forth, and the hands uh, for the victim that's going to be in the stocks will be twitching up and down. 
hopefully on the hands. Head definitely, hopefully the hands too. I'm still working out the mechanism for that one. But uh, we'll get we'll, we'll be getting started on the build with that uh, next week. Uh, I need to spend the rest of the day and go through my shop and give it a good thorough cleaning, and that's going to take the rest of the afternoon. So uh, I'm going to get started doing that. So for right now, I'm going to close this out and say stay spooky out there. Also stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have a few subscriber shout outs. My email box is getting full again. So stay spooky. Have fun. We'll see you here in about a week.